doubleheader, which will start tonight in Milwaukee, where Brad Stevens and the Celtics are. They will have Kyrie, won't have Gordon Hayward. We have Kenny Smith, Dennis Scott. I'm Jared Greenberg. Guys, as we look at this Eastern Conference race, this is a pivotal one tonight for the Bucks and Celtics. The series is tied at one, and this is the last time they play tonight, Kenny. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's pivotal in terms of playoff, uh, like what's going to happen in the playoff, but just, you know, positioning and all of those things. But there's four teams, Milwaukee, Toronto, you have Indy, uh, Boston and Philadelphia. Those are the four teams that are vying to win it all. Uh, you know, the Pacers with the injury, Oladipo probably puts them out. To me, this is a different Bucks team than they faced in the playoffs last year, obviously. They play differently. Uh, the experience of Giannis, the experience of uh, Middleton, and, and their ability to spread the floor is different around Giannis than they've ever had. And I think the, the Celtics, these guys, they're still finding themselves in terms of style of play. Mm -hmm. It isn't, you don't know every night when you turn on the Celtics exactly what you're going to get yet. They still haven't figured that out in these last 25 games. is really to identify the style of play, who's the top eight, nine guys, and then going into the playoffs. It's that first message game for me, Jared, to, to Kenny's point, where now, since the All-Star break, we know how many games we have left. We know we are in the standing. So now, can we show a team that last year we faced in the playoffs that we have grown up to Kenny's point, yeah. and this new style of play we call Bud Ball really works. And now, we can go into this uh, playoff series understanding that now we can make shots, and we have more than one or two guys that shoot threes. Among the variety of topics that Kyrie Irving has addressed over the last couple of days, one was his pending free agency and how that may be a distraction to these younger players in this locker room. That's what Kyrie said, much like we talked about the last several weeks with the Laker locker room, how the trade rumors may have affected those guys. Yeah, trade rumors definitely affect, uh, you know, individuals, uh, positively and negatively. Sometimes... It's a, it's, a, it's a positive force because it makes you play a little bit more with your antennas up. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've seen guys do that in their career. But in terms of free agency, for me, as a, as a, when I had guys on the team for, as a player, now talking as a player, it never affected me, their free agency. Like, I never thought about their decisions and what they were going to make. I was like, what am I doing to get prepared for myself and to help this team win that's here right now? Right. So... For me, that never bothered me, someone else's free agency. I don't know about you, D. Scott. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the other side because it, it, it bothered me. I'm like, Shaq, don't, Shaq, don't leave. leave. <laughs> Shaq, don't leave us, man. We've just been together. We went to the finals. Penny's going to get better. Nick's going to get better. Right. We ain't worried about it because the Rockets <laughs> beat us. We can get back into it. So I'm going to take the other side. Okay. Where, where Because, well, in this is way with the Celtics, these guys are like, wait a minute. But do you think the same with this team, No, not, no. This team the is different. Shaq I'm, and, and, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying, for me, it was different because when Shaq left, we was no longer the number one seed right, every right, year. Right, right. That's the difference where in Kyrie's case, this team is young and, hey, this, I thought I was part of the future. Right. And now you're trying to get rid of me. That's where I think in L.A.'s case, they messed with their heads for a few games. And then since the trade deadline, those guys started playing better basketball. No, I'm not saying Kyrie's like Shaq. No, yeah, I, no, I no, 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 no. <laughs> I would agree with this. The free agency is it, it would affect if the player doesn't want to be there. Yes. Mm. Now, now that's for sure. So if he's checked that's, out, that's actually right. worse to your point. Right. Yes. That, yes. That, that, yes. That will affect it. Yes. Now, so if, yes. but if Kyrie Irving is coming in and, and he's got two feet into the pool, you know, it doesn't affect the team and it doesn't affect right. his teammates. Right. But if they sense that he doesn't want to be there, right. then that does, mm -hmm. that does affect your yes. overall team. 100%. You will see Kyrie 100%. and the Celtics take on the Bucks tonight. First game of the TNT 